example. Shall we work, uh, we yeah. prefer to work variation by variation? Okay. I don't mind. Look, very little to say there. Uh, the only thing I would ask is when you uh, show an unusual counterpoint, yeah. you know, be careful you don't do it too obviously. Yeah. Uh, because it takes the ear away from the general thing. Yeah. But it was very, very, very good. Let's go on. might be different? Rhythm, uh, rhythm uh, uh, it was a bit unstable in, at the ends of the... Of okay, the that, you know, of course, just for everybody, it's, he's making, he's taking yes. uh, Mozart and making fun that I have no time and day, because Diabelli was asking him to send the yeah. variations and he, he didn't have time. Yeah. So I think you're too serious. Okay, oh, <laughs> and, okay. And uh, also he writes a very vulgar sforzato, which is funny. Yep. Instead of yum, ding, bum, ping, bum, ping, yum, it's the opposite. I think he meant it. It's grotesque okay. and funny. Try it again. And I personally wouldn't, uh, second half, you suddenly do something legato. Yeah. You remember. Yeah. It seems again too serious for okay. this crazy piece. Try it again. Just no, like irritated. I have no time. <laughs> Semper finissimo, Semper, he asks you, don't get louder. Bing, bong. Now. For me, that's great. Okay, yeah. now let's fly. <laughs> Anything that you think might be better? That was very, very good. Uh, the this contrast between forte and piano. Okay. Um, just for everybody's information, uh, not everybody knows that Beethoven, at this time, there was a very good but rather unpleasant pianist called Kalkbrenner, who famous for octaves. Anyway, he, wrote, he asked Beethoven in the conversation book to write some etudes, and Beethoven... No, no, no. But unconsciously, I think, we were speaking yeah. about it last night, I think Beethoven unconsciously wrote etudes in a way. I mean, the ones that we heard yesterday had trills and quick chords. This, I think, is the jumps. Yeah. And um, your speed is, is, is fine. Maybe it could even be slower, but it's fine. But can you at all... It's forte piano. Do you have any more art articulation okay. or not? Can you try? Yes. Okay. Try it, even if you don't like it. Try it a little slower, like this slower. Thank you. 
you're happier quicker and so stay yeah the only thing I would ask is to try to articulate even the last but 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 yeah you play every note but is it possible to just provoke a bit more at the end even the, just the, the end of the whole at, no just make don't do diminuendo at the end before you have to do this big jump okay try maybe it's not necessary but I'd like to hear it For me, that's just slightly better, yep. but it's fine. Now we come to one of the most beautiful. Yep. When you play, do you re do both repeats? Yes. Yes, okay. So he just did retard now because you played it like the second ending. I think I would like to work with you only on the opening. When it becomes more expressive, especially with the right hand, I think you respond beautifully. I would like the opening to be simpler. Okay. Okay. Uh, By the opening, how long do you mean? Good question. Uh, Un <coughs> until where you've written Bach in your score, okay. <laughs> which you don't know where it is. Um, and when he writes Unicorda, I'd like to think that you, I'm feeling that you're not loving the idea of it, you're doing it. Try to uh, enter the world of Unicorda in your psychology more. Now, the only criticism I have really is in this passage here, again, the problem of too obvious uh, okay. uh, attention to a, a voice that people aren't expecting yeah. to hear. Okay. If you make a point, especially in music of such tenderness and control, it's, it's, it's dangerous to make a point. Yeah. Make a point, but very discreet. But try the opening, love the unicorn. Don't like it, love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, yeah. there. You know. Yeah. You lost the counterpoint. The first two bars were beautiful. Let's try them again. Beautiful, bravo. Tiny, tiny criticism. 
This suspension, when you have to stretch, yeah. I, uh, you let go of the G, which meant this. Ah, I, yeah, and I wanted to, I wanted to hear it. But a tiny point, beautiful. Now, can you go to the second part, which is darker? Yeah. The second half is darker. Respond, but be careful you don't make a. Here I am showing you the bass line. Yeah. Something that was beautiful. Now. Continue like this, but maybe a little darker. S second half, or ending of the first half. Try it again, try it again. Did you consciously, do you not want to, when it goes high, w were you purposely not showing more? Is it? Yes. Yes, you were. Okay, I'll try to work with that idea. To, but it sounded a little self-conscious okay. as if you were, okay, don't make crescendo, but don't disappear. Yes. Okay, try it again. Beautiful. Go on. No, take, take, take the okay. repeat. Yeah. I want to hear the repeat. Uh, I took the repeat. <laughs> I mean, uh, the reason I, now that we've stopped, the reason, because it's one of the, Beethoven is not often coquette, but yeah. I think just at the end, yeah, there's just a bit of charm. Okay. There. But, so take the repeat now. Okay, uh, question of tempo. I think it could be a tiny bit quicker, but that's, you, have you ever considered? Uh, well, the, the problem I find is that the next uh, variation doesn't have a tempo indication. Yeah. And I'd like to be able to play them at the same speed, and if I play it... Oh. Well, let's take that as a separate question. Yeah. It just sounds, to me, it just sounds slightly serious, slightly okay. slow. Now, but what I would like you to respond more is towards the end of the second part, yep. where the crescendo mark, he stops writing legato for the left, yep. and I think you, you can show off with your okay. left hand. Really, con brio. Yep. And uh, I, I wouldn't change the, I wouldn't make the right hand longer. Okay. Keep the, yep. the lightness, but let your left hand show off virtuoso. Okay. So try the first half and go straight to the second half, okay? okay?
no, that's too, that's that's too fast. But no, I'd like when it stops being the garden. Yes. And when mm -hmm. it, yeah, I want this virtual like Paganini from yeah. <laughs> Paganini. Suddenly yes. show Paganini, although he played the violin yeah. as we know. Try it again. Uh, maybe not so quick. Now it's do your own tempo. Okay. Your own tempo. But make it a surprise. Make it through a shake. That is the character changes. Good. Can you do more crescendo in there? Yeah. For me, that's that's fun. Yeah. That's okay. great. Okay, now let's go Piaccio Voli. Yes. Isn't this strange? It's marked yeah. in three eight. Yeah. It's yeah. impossible. Yeah. I'm sure when you hear it, and you it's it sounds da 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 da. -da. In fact, is there a way of making it da 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 da, da to, to play it in three, although he's written it yeah. in this strange way? That still sounds. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong because actually he writes like this. Yeah. But why does he write in three then? Why do yeah, you think I, he writes in three? Well, I, I'm of two minds. Well, okay. I think I'm making this, uh, making a three eight, but obviously it's not. It, like that. it doesn't sound. Okay. No. It sounds to you. Yeah. But uh, no. Okay. So, so you actually have faced the idea. I yes. mean, you've thought about it. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, and then I sometimes think he wanted just to keep the time signature the same throughout the next three very uh, throughout these three. Yeah, it's, it's possible. But, but certainly, if it's too quick, it's not Piaccio Volle. Yeah. Try it. Uh, You've done this crazy one before. Yeah. And then maybe a little slower. Maybe try a little slower. OK, I find the tempo beautiful, the sound beautiful. Let's try, even if we decide not to. Okay. Let's try to make it sound in three. <laughs> even more, okay. Yes, I mean, that sounds absolutely in two. Okay. If anybody there thinks they hear it in three, I want them to raise their hands. <laughs> okay. In other words, he's written da 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 but he's written for the time signature, ba ba da 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 di ba ba da 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 di ba to try to make it in three. Try. Ah, that's just, just three for me. And it's interesting, because he tried to make it in three, the tempo didn't run. It was piacevole. Maybe when you come to work on it more, you can retain that yeah. idea. I, th I think it's beautiful. Okay. There, there yeah. you went back. Towards the second half of this variation, yeah. when he writes in double notes, yeah. high. I remember I, when I was learning it, I was studying it with uh, Myra Hess. Yeah. And she was learning it too. I mean, she was a great, great Beethoven player, but she didn't know these. So we were learning it together. And we, uh, I fell in love with this piece by hearing the 60s recording of Rudolf Serkin. Okay, yes. I didn't like Beethoven <laughs> until then. Now, what's interesting is that when, so we listened together, Myra Hess and I, 
to his recording. And when he comes to the second half of the, this, she started to cry, and me too. There was something in the way that Sirkin played, you know, in this passage when he, that yeah. stopped being like a formula, and it was suddenly late Beethoven at his most, I don't know, tender. Yeah. Now, we don't have that today. Try, try when you get there, or have you ever thought of that passage differently? Yes. You have. And you, and you have tried to do it? In other ways. <laughs> no. This morning, let's, I mean, it's a, it's a subtle point, and, but let's try the second half. Yep. And when it comes there, stop, as it were, because it's formula, it's formula, yep. formula, formula. Suddenly it's melodic. Yep. See if you can respond. Yeah. You know that's coming. That I nearly <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but I, it was touching. Now let's do something even more. The preparation. Yeah. I think on this, everything is arpeggio written, yeah. and suddenly you have this scale. Yeah. Maybe the scale is a hint, a warning of, what's of something to. special. Yeah. Now don't hit me with it, but try to make the entrance natural. Try the second half. It's coming. One last thing. Try in the scale, even though it's dolce and melodic, try to have the courage to keep the crescendo he asks yeah. for. And if it means you have to bit, take a bit of time at the end, Tom. Okay. Now that to me was late Beethoven. This combination of formula, of banal, of inspired, and suddenly really inspired. Yeah. That was beautiful. Could you hear it? Yes. Okay, now you have to run for your life. Yes. <laughs> Okay, very wonderful fingers. Can you believe it? I think it's a tiny bit too fast, but okay. that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm happy to play it slow. <laughs> what? I'm happy to play it slow. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can. No, I, this, the thing is that when it's quite so fast, the articulation doesn't excite me. I just okay. think marvelous fingers. Okay. Uh, but I don't hear, I just don't it's hear, a, it doesn't yeah. m make me have a goose pimple, okay. wherever goose pimples are. Um, but now, what is missing is, are, this for Sardis, you find them difficult, yes? Because you find them difficult, you use your foot unconsciously. Yeah. Try... Uh, consciously. Well, consciously. Yes. Yeah, well, try uh, not. Okay. Try to do this for Sardis, and I know it's difficult, you have enough technique. Maybe you can't do it today, but I'd like you to try to make them brighter. Okay. And uh, they're little... As typical Beethoven, late Beethoven, little bursts of electricity, as if you put your hand in an electric, <laughs> you know, it's that. Yep. It's not nothing, it's not nice. 
It's not not nice, but it's yeah. like this. So try a brighter sound. Try to keep your foot off. And maybe you can't play just directly there. So wherever is good, microscopically slower. Let's just see. Let's just see. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Excellent. I, I, I thought that was great. So why couldn't you do that first time? <laughs> <laughs> That's a question a lot of people ask me. So it's a question everybody asks everybody. Because you'd be astonished. Uh, I'm happy to hear some of the greatest young pianists we have today. And, they, and you're super, you're super. And even the best sometimes do something legally. You know, they see a short sound or they play a little bit louder and you just provoke them a little bit and out comes the real music. So the question is, and there are people who I hear who have more technique than I and you, I mean, they're just geniuses. Uh, and they have the same thing. What is it? What do you think the reason is? Because I'd like to get it completely l right once, just in case I... Yeah, you see, officially that's a good answer, but it's a terrible answer. Yes. <laughs> um, I remember I was uh, at a competition years ago, and a young Russian pianist played marvelously all the way through, in the, in, at the last, Prokofiev III, he played like a machine, okay? And of course he didn't win first prize because it was boring as hell, it was fast and everything. So I said to him at the party afterwards, why did you change your character? He said, oh, my teacher told me that in the final you cannot make a mistake. <laughs> but, I mean, we laugh, but it's tragic. It's, yeah. And it's what we all suffer for, and, uh, uh, su suffer from. Uh, even you, and you have oodles of ability, you have more than you need, that's great. But even you worry about that. Now, I'd like you once after today never to do that again. <laughs> Think of never doing it again. Yep. For practice, that's one thing. Um, but it's a melody, it's a contemporary problem too. I also think maybe because of CDs, everything is perfect and uh, you know, when Horvitz played the Tchaikovsky concerto, there weren't 50 recordings of people comparing the octave passages and all this nonsense that we have now. Uh, but, I mean, when I asked you to do it, I thought, well, maybe he can't do it just now, but you did. And it was beautiful. So, bravo. Thank you. And by the way, I only, my only tiny, tiny, you observe this ending and you, because the last note is longer, yes. you do it. I just think it's a little bit too self-consciously. It's just, he just stops. Yeah. He just stops. Okay. So, look, the next variation doesn't make sense, really. Can you play the second half of this once more, and then go on? This is too quick. Have you ever thought of it slower? Yes, but then I feel it's too serious. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, then we have a different idea of this variation. I don't think it's serious, God. Of course, it's not serious. But I think it's more... I think it's... And he writes, Beethoven writes a sforzato every yeah. second thing. So I think the implication for me is that it's... If I use the word aggressive, that's so politically incorrect. And maybe it's not what I mean but I don't think it's Leggero. Okay. Try just for now, yep, bop, bop, really, and mean every bloody one of them. But staccato and 
uh, top of the right hand. We need that. Yeah. Each one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you believe it? I just think that the only thing, criticism, when you have pa pa pa, da, it's still yeah. only forte. It's not okay. for, for, fortissimo. Yeah. Each one. Yeah. Try, the, yeah, try those forte, not fortissimo. Okay. They're uh, only uh, forte. Uh, okay. foot yes try have the guts try not to use your foot you know you have to jump I know you have to jump but try no, but not so loud try it from the second half yeah no. I <laughs> doesn't matter I think that's nearer. Okay. Only thing is you've lost interest in this for Saru's pa 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 ah. Yeah, but yeah. That, that we don't have to do. Now, in a performance, I'm sure you do, and I, I wait 15 seconds or so, because we enter in some of the most incredible music Beethoven ever wrote. Uh, the Diabelli is sublime, it's grotesque, it's boring sometimes, and it's uh, virtuoso sometimes, it's everything but the last five are in a world of their own. Yeah. And um, so we, we'll just, even be, before you start now, let's just stop 10 seconds or so and collect ourselves for something completely different. You're gonna hate me. Prepare to hate me, <laughs> dear. Why do you? It's mezzo voce. I don't really know how what sounds mezzo voce means. Well, it doesn't mean a comfortable cantabile. Okay. For sure. Uh, half a voice. Uh, that is parlando. That's in other words, you're trying to convey. In my opinion, you don't, but maybe you think you do. But we, maybe we hear this piece differently here. It's possible. But for, for the moment, you think that speaking in that voice conveys the darkness of the music. I think that it's much more private okay. and inic. And you, instead of giving, you have to make them come to you. Okay. Uh, Look, tomorrow, <laughs> you may not think that. But for now, could you try, even psychologically, thinking I'm going to play in such a way, of course it has to be, you have to want to do it. I hope you'll try. Yeah. Really try. You have to want them. They have to come to you. You're not, it's not generous moment. It's a moment of something, but not generosity. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
grow for. I thought that was wonderful. Don't abandon that, okay. really. I mean, you, you'll, and you'll do what you want. But that was, for me, that was touching. Can, can you play the end? And then the next variation, he asks una corda, which sort of implies the same sound, but he says, sempre cantabile. Yes. So what's beautiful is if you establish this inic world, yeah. and then you start to open. Okay. And I've got, goose, <laughs> I've got goose pimples even talking about it. Uh, so play the end of the just what you yep. did, and then without hitting us, start to open. Then you start to give. Yeah. Okay. okay. Try the end somewhere and then go on. Okay, let's work on that. Uh, it's personal, so I, it may not be you. Yep. I find it microscopically too slow. Uh, I, I felt that. that you, time. you, you, yes. you felt that. Okay. The other thing is, I've noticed that you, you sometimes emphasize a voice, particularly in your left hand, and you turn off your attention to the top. Okay. And what happens is that we know that you're interested in the left, but we miss what it's against yes. or what it's... Yes, it counterpoint. Exactly. Now, this... Uh, can I move without disturbing? Yes, I can. <coughs> Here... This, this yeah. starts to sort of indicate that something more chromatic yeah. is, because this is rather diatonic. So maybe, I, of course, you're, I know you love this passage, but there's a slight warning, like in the yeah. other, a tiny warning that something yeah. more whatever is happening. Now, when you come to it, you pay it. You, you love your left hand, but you neglect this. Yeah. Try it again, maybe a tiny bit quicker, tiny bit, give a little warning, and then yeah. both, okay? okay? <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit, I don't hear you, I, are you using Udacorda? Yes. But I don't hear you okay. enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Try it again. I'm sorry. Try it again. Excuse me interrupting you. Try it again. V veiled. I want you to enjoy the unicorde. That's even so it was better. Your six your sixteenths are quite agitated. They're too quick. D, 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 D. Dolce. Yes. 
Yes. Good. Beautiful. Now open here. Okay, beautiful. Try it again. I didn't help by saying open, and then you responded. Do it yourself, but do it in perfect proportion. Yeah. Try it again. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Good for you for stopping. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful until, until, when he says espresivo, yeah. it didn't hurt. <laughs> okay. It the, didn't, the first one or the second one? The, this one, here. Okay. In here. Yeah, okay. It didn't hurt me. Yeah. So try from, yeah. Opposite of what he says, poco crescendo. Uh, uh, yes. I, I mean, again, don't do it legally. I'm, you're yeah. too good. You're not going to do it legally. But I'm worried that you'll just now make crescendo. Yeah. But try sapik. It hurts this passage a little bit. It doesn't hurt yet. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> a wrong it note help. really doesn't yeah. help. Wait, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. That's true. <laughs> Very good. Touche. Did what you want. Touche. Touche. <laughs> I can think of even. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Oh, let's try it again. It's coming, but he gives you help with the thumb. Do you know? It's there, the espresivo start. No, the, the, yes, the right hand. Do you know? Yeah, that's again a warning. You ignore it. Try the passage again. Sorry, this is how we work.
Okay, why don't you do the B D D D D as one line? That the poco yeah. crescendo, the warning starts with yeah. the left, takes over with the thumb. You play sometimes ba da, it's da. It's a dotted note. D ah, okay. da D da D. And so you have three three entrances, D, two, and then then it sings, if you, yeah. if you can call it singing. Try it again, the whole thing, yeah. Okay, last time, last time, once more. When the right hand comes in, make it respond to what you've done before. How are we doing for time? We're okay. Okay. Has someone given him a drink? I don't know. <laughs> so good. Okay. By the way, the first half, it was, it can be slightly more, but it was there, in my yeah. opinion. It, you know, yeah. my hunger to hear that like that was, it was there. Yeah. And, okay, now we enter into a homage to Bach. Yes. And, uh, a, and, he says, toot the chord. So suddenly the piano is open. Yes, but sotto voce. <laughs> I know, but you have to just try to play, but don't use your left foot. Yeah. I think it just, and try, it's still rather inic music, but it doesn't, can you end the variation before again? That's it, but w you tell me what you're looking for. I'm sort of looking for something like Er Bar und Ich in the Matthew's Passion. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, it's, well, it's, it's solo violin or voice against a continuo. Yes. And it's, <laughs> it, it is still very innich and... Yes. Uh, quite dry. You find it, you would like it quite yes. dry. I don't hear it that way, but I'm, I want to work with you with your mm -hmm. sound in mind. But even with your sound in mind, it doesn't sound, all I can say, largo. Oh, okay. it, it doesn't sound largo. Um, maybe it's too fast, or th maybe there's something in your touch, which, it's funny that as you were playing, I thought it starts to sound like the way I imagine a forte piano <laughs> would sound, whereas before you've been playing, using the yeah. negative and the positive things of our pianos. Uh, 
and here it seemed as if you were giving away some of the richness okay. that we have at our disposal. Okay. Uh, try it a tiny bit slower, and well, just try it a tiny bit slower and see. Yes, it's strange. It's strange because you're playing this quite differently than any of the more expressive things earlier in yeah. the piece. For me, it doesn't work, but... Um, I'm happy to try. I'm tr you're happy to try, but I'm also trying to understand what you're trying to do. Um, okay. Well, try it now in a way that I suggest and see if you can live with it, o okay? But really try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. <clears throat> I know it's sotto voce, but it doesn't speak. There's something, I mean, everything, bef the two variations before have been really quite inside. This is more open, isn't it? I don't hear you responding, as well as I, I hear you very much as a slow min as a slow minuet, you know, uh, I think the minuet comes at the end, yeah. and it's we start with a vulgar minuet and we end with a divine one. Yeah, um, I would still tr when you play it again, play it a little slower. Uh, don't be so scrupulous about the rests because they're they sound self conscious okay. what, what you're doing, and a little bit a tiny bit more sound tiny bit yeah. but that's a mechanical way of talking i don't know how to but let's just see what happens yeah you see but that's rather casual yes now don't get quicker You're beginning to speak. I mean, you are speaking. It's beautiful. I want you to try from yeah. tiny bit slower, but keeping this speech. Try it. Try it. When you have all these 64th yeah. notes, don't be terrified by them. There's just it's still music. No. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Go on. Don't run. Don't run. Speak. Yes. You can do it. Uh, you lacked slight courage in this forzato here. Do you know, yes. do you know, do you okay. Are we really okay for time? Really? Okay. Because it's so good working with you. So uh, try from the beginning. Be careful that your 16s are not ledger at so, you know, that, that they speak. They must. No speaking, speaking, speaking. Try. And then don't repeat and go on, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. 
Why do you think, why do you think, he, I would like to ask you really, why does he write Dolce there? It must be different from something before, yeah. no? Yeah. So let's try it from the beginning, otherwise we'll never know. Yes. <laughs> It'll be different from the nothing that I've played. <laughs> You're running, you're running. Temptation in the pianissimo to make her sandal. Yep. Do you know, stay away, stay away. Beautiful ending. Can we go back to the trills? They came out of, they, you didn't earn them. Okay. <laughs> they came too, too suddenly. And you do a big break. Yeah. That, that's on purpose? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, I feel you need some emotional time to process the trills before you go back. Okay. But then let's try a little bit earlier. Uh, the trills, it's the beginning of the crescendo. Yeah. And if possible, could you... Although you change notes, but could the trills just keep going? Okay. Yeah. Good. I gave you bad advice in the sense of keeping the trills going. It was better when you showed as yes. he does each one. Yeah. But it was so articulated before. Okay. That's all. I'll, should yeah. I try another? No, yeah, I'm sure you can do yeah. it. Yeah. 
So play the ending and then we go to one of the greatest fugues he ever wrote. Okay. The second part was fast. Is, is is quite good. You like most people you get into trouble towards the end, it runs. Is it is it excitement or nerves or difficulty of the passage? What is it? A bit of everything. A bit of everything, yes. Uh, if you can I mean it took me years to be able to play that securely. <coughs> uh, but it can be done. Now, I disagree with you. The opening, it seems to me, too, too leggero okay. and a way too, too free. I mean, the, remind people how this piece starts. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's going back to that. Yeah. But this time he means business. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, can you believe it? I find it slightly... I'm not sure if it was too... Be in whatever tempo you take, I would take. Be and, but really, really in time. And uh, I would not do rubato, no matter the, the temptation you do sometimes. And when it comes to fortissimo, really let us have yeah. it. Now, try it again. And really, not moving at all. Yeah. More orchestral. Somehow the B flats don't. How can I put it? I don't know how to put it. <laughs> no. No. No foot. No foot. Don't, do you use foot? No. 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 
No. Well, you, 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 you must be linking yeah. with your fingers, don't you? Yes. It's unstable. That's not typical of you. It's unstable rhythmically, like a metronome. Don't play well. The left hand was good. The left hand should have excited your right. Now it's better. Uh, but let's try that. Let's try it again. Uh, the reason I'm saying try again is that sometimes when there's cantabile, it slightly is insecure yep. rhythmically. That's all. That's the only reason. And it's it's forte, not fortissimo. Fortissimo yep. is coming. I don't want you to play a good boy forte, but you know, not fortissimo yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. You, you stop singing. Again, again, and, um, um, Julian, you're losing intensity. I hear you, and then in a funny way, you lose interest. Okay. Keep your intensity, absolutely, every bloody bar. Yes. Good. Either there's a misprint or you've learned incorrectly a note here. In this score, it's A flat. You play A natural, by the way. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe it was just a mistake, or have you, do you actually play a, a, a natural? I don't think I play an A natural. Well, no. you, well, you did that, but anyway. <laughs> well, somewhere you did, somewhere. A a anyway. Yeah. Now, the only reason I stopped you was it was great, but when... But yeah. you you did a sort of drop in intensity. I on a contrary. But okay. show those. They're yeah. brilliant. Uh, you have the fingers to do it. You absolutely have the fingers to do it. Can you try from Yeah. <laughs> You're doing it legally, but you're not. I don't hear the answer. Okay. Your right is not answering. <laughs> Syncopations, much more. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam.
almost wonderful. The almost because you didn't earn the climax. Yep. <laughs> you have to play in such a way that the climax has to be, yep. not just suddenly there. I'm exaggerating. It wasn't just suddenly there, but yep. before you lost it, don't. Can you try from B D D D D D D D D B D D D D D D Yes. Yeah, it was, and you and you lost your right hand as well. Yeah. Okay. You do a rhetorical. You do a gesture there. I don't think you should. You do something suddenly. You take a bit of time. Yeah. That seems to me a romantic. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't. I just okay. simply start screaming. <laughs> I mean, look, it's fantastic. It can, it's a little bit quicker than you're playing okay. the rest of the fugue. I'm going to ask you something which you're going to not hate me for, but you'll be sorry I said it. Here, when it, when you have the duet, yeah. if possible, less foot, because we okay. cannot hear it. It's really good, though. It's really good. Can you try from... <laughs> what happens all the time? <laughs> you can take your choice. <laughs> which one do you want? Uh, this one, or something, and anywhere. That's and look, here... Um, it's good, you hardly ran. But here, I'm not saying take your foot off, but I want to hear the duet. Yep. Okay. arpeggio it's brilliant but you play it like list okay I, you, in other words you do a kind of shape yeah every note every note yes now the next one is already piano not mezzo forte yes less Beautiful sound, beautiful proportion. The only thing, he pedals it differently from you, and I have to, I had to learn to do it as well. The pedal comes off, whereas actually one wants it to go on. It comes off here. Yeah. Try from, well, either the whole thing, or, yes, yes. <laughs> Off at the first. Yes, but do it more subtly. Pedal. Off, but subtly. Now, it comes off before. Uh, uh. Now, 
before you begin pedal off. So the right hand just goes by itself. That's not dolce, dear. That's not dolce, no. and it's not grazioso. It's not grazioso. Okay. It's also a little quick. And tempo diminuito moderato. Here, it's a homage, whether he knew it or not, to Mozart. I no, I think. To late Mozart, this kind of in Jupiter symphony, late. Yeah. Yeah. But grazioso. It's too direct. It's too direct. Grazioso. This is a beautiful sound here. This is beautiful, but we don't have an opening. That's beautiful. Try to try to get this world at the beginning. Good. Like a dance. That's beautiful. That's good. Beautiful. Take the repeat. Now a magic sound. Yeah, your third beat is too soon. Dancing with the most beautiful person on earth. Come on, try it again. Dancing with an angel. No, it's yeah, too direct. It's... Beautiful. <laughs> Wait. It's coming. Forte in context. Beautiful. Now continue dancing. Third is too soon. Beautiful. Okay, it's coming, Julian, it's coming, it's coming. It's now, to me, sounding like a celestial dance, okay? When he marks pianissimo and yeah. you respond, you do pianissimo, but even within the limits of pianissimo, try to be a little bit more expressive. That's all I can tell you. Second half. No? Uh, yeah, that wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good. Don't be rigid, enjoy. Gracioso.
stay, stay, stay. It was beautiful. Try from the end of the Opus 111 passage. <laughs> yeah. Now back to Tempo Primo. Oh, it's yeah, that was, that was good. Good for you. That wasn't magic. <laughs> Try it again, try a magic left, not a good left, try a magic left. No. Can you tell us now what you think you might look for and something about late Beethoven that is different from the other Beethoven? There's a sense of eternity in late Beethoven. Yes. Timelessness. Yes. Um, what I might look for in this piece or... Yes. In, in that, I mean, we worked on... I think we worked on all aspects. Yep. There may be some things you don't agree with, but uh, I think you have to be careful that you don't do anything too obviously showing yeah. a point, making a point. Uh, the pianissimo, now you start, to, you really start to, to show that pianissimo is as expressive as anything else, yeah. and in fact, probably more so. And, and, uh, in, in the fugue, uh, don't don't run. Yeah. And and you uh, keep your intensity. Uh, sometimes you, I think you're if there's something melodic, you enjoy that and you can lose your yep. pulse. Uh, but you have marvelous fingers. And what is interesting is that uh, I think you you have the late Beethoven thing inside you. You don't always look for it but it's there and it doesn't take much f to make you show it yeah and uh it's uh it's good so it's so wonderful to know it this piece so young as as how did you discover it why did you learn it um well i actually i heard your recording of it um when i was about seven oh, for I, formative age uh, and <laughs> i i I, uh, I thought uh, and I also heard a live performance of it also that week and a performance on the radio. Yes. And I thought, I better learn this piece sometime. Yes. And I, I had I'd been learning the piano for three months and I sight read through it. Right. Wow. Uh, and uh, and then I thought, it's a bit difficult. <laughs> 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 but, but then somebody asked whether I would play it this year and I thought that yes. would be a nice thing to do. Well, until this piece, I liked Beethoven, but I didn't love him. I fell in love with Beethoven when I was 17 or 18 through hearing the Serkin recording of this piece. And yep. I, I fell in love with it. And for about a year and a half or so, in music, I didn't think of much else. And when I came to London to study with Myra S., it was basically the Diabelli, of course. We worked yep. on other things. And though she knew it, she had never studied it. And of course, she was 
absolutely incredible, yeah. overwhelmed by the piece. And, uh, and as you play, it will probably change one way. And you may get tired of it at one point. It's very easy, you know, and just yeah. stop it for a number of years. But it's ready, you, you are now ready to show it. Yeah. So bravo. Thank you. Okay. Okay, that's it, folks. <laughs> I thought we worked, I, I enjoyed it yeah. very much. Yeah. And we're getting, yeah.